Hello, welcome to today's class. In this class, we'll create a distance measuring device using the ultrasonic sensor. A practical example of this is when you want to measure the distance between the ultrasonic sensor and an object and you don't want to use a, a measuring tip, you can use this device. So the components we need for this project are, number one, we need the ultrasonic sensor. In this case, I'm using the HCSRO4. Number two, we need an Arduino Uno. Number three, we need our breadboard. Then number four, we need some jumper wires. In this case, I want to use four jumper wires. The ultrasonic sensor has four pins. One is the ground that will be connected to the ground of the Arduino. Two is the echo. Three is the trigger. Then number four is the VCC that will be connected to the five volts. This trigger and echo can be connected to any of the digital pins. In our breadboard, all the pins in this section are connected horizontally and all the pins in this section are connected vertically. So if I put a pin here and I put a pin here, they are connected together. I connect my ultrasonic sensor to the breadboard. You will see with me that this point is a ground. We can take any pin from here to connect as echo. We can take any point from here as our trigger, and then we can take any point from here as our VCC. I connect the ground to the ground in my Duno. We have this as ground. We also have this pin and this pin as ground. So I use this pin as the ground. I connect the VCC from the ultrasonic sensor to the five volts in the Arduino. So you can see the ground. And you can see the five volts the third one is to connect the trig pin so this is for my trigger for the trigger i want to use pin 13 in the arduino so 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 and then the echo so the echo pin which is the yellow one i want to connect it to pin 12 in my arduino 8 9 10 11 12. so this is a simple connection for our project. Next, we connect our Arduino to our laptop and then write some codes. Interestingly, I'm using the 2021 version of Arduino. For this particular project, we'll first create variables and assign the pins to them. Remember, we're working with pin 13 and pin 12. Pin 13 is for the trigger, pin 12 is for the echo. Just want to write a comment, create the variables and assign the pins to them. Create a variable called trig pin and it is assigned to pin 13. Create the echo pin variable and assign pin 12 to it. The next thing we want to create, we want to create two more variables. One, we want to call it the duration to hold the time long and we call it duration. We don't have any value for it. Then we'll also create another variable called the distance to hold the distance that we want to measure. So we'll say long and then we'll call it distance. Now in the void setup section, we want to set the pin modes of the pins. So the first one is for the trig pin. We want to set it as the output as output and pin mode for the echo pin we want to set it as input in this particular project we'll use the serial monitor to view the distance that we are working with so we'll start the serial monitor by using this line serial.begin and we'll set the baud rate to 9600. Let me write the comments here. This um, starts the serial monitor. Now in this section, the first thing we'll do is to clear the trig pin within two microseconds. Then within 10 microseconds, we'll set the trig pin to high. And then we'll measure the duration, meaning the time it takes for the echo pin to receive this wave. Then we'll measure the distance using 0.17 times the duration. Finally, we'll make the results to appear on the serial monitor. So we'll take it one step at a time. The first comment here is we want to clear the trig pin. We clear the trig pin by using digital write. Set the trig pin to low for 2 microseconds.
so the next part is we send the sound wave by using digital rights then our trick pin sets to high and we we'll delay microseconds for about 10 microseconds then digital rights trick pin low when it sends the sound wave we receive the sound wave we use the variable we created called duration what happens here it's always check when the pulse that is entering the echo pin becomes high it reads that value for us to calculate the distance remember we said that the distance is equal to 0 0.017 times the time so this one is the time it takes to receive the sound wave so in this case our variable distance is equal to 0 0.017 microseconds times the duration then we we'll print the distance on the on the serial monitor and we we'll use serial dot print I say the distance in centimeter is dot prints on the print on the next line and we'll print the distance one second for each result to appear okay so this is a simple code for that you'll find the code in the description let's save our project now let's verify the code error compilation error delay microseconds there's a semicolon missing here to so add the semicolon and verify the code again okay done compiling compilation completes the code is working okay saying request upload field with message field upload uploading no upload ports provided when this message appears it means that we have not selected the ports so i go to my tools board maduno uno body selected then i come down here click Arduino uno and click select board scroll down to where i have you know the single port system uh, let me change my port okay so do no uno i just have to change the port on my laptop and i select these ports and i say okay so i upload the code again okay compilation done uploading now let's test the project so if you check the reading on the serial monitor it's on 15. if i move it to 10 you can see it's reading 10. if i move it to 5 and the serial monitor is also reading 5. if i move it to 24 can see it's reading 24. This is one of the projects we can create with the ultrasonic sensor, a digital meter. Thank you very much. Please remember to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get updates. Watch out for our next class where we build more projects using the ultrasonic sensor and the Arduino. Thank you very much.